guys welcome back and this is a huge one we have a brand new update now i read through this update yesterday and i didn't think much of it because i completely missed out this line when i first looked at it and then i saw them post this image and we finally have king coming to the game which is exciting because i I absolutely love King's character in One Punch Man. Just this kind of average Joe who just somehow is always there after One Punch Man sort of done his deeds and he just picks up all the wins, all the loot basically. So the server will be shut down for four hours. So it's quite a big update server wide. And obviously that means that the game is gonna, I think they did it even say it's gonna last for five hours the update. It's quite a long one, which could be quite good because um, I'm half expecting to see some good server side updates. So that means things that we're not going to see, but just nice updates to keep the game running smoothly. We apologize for, for the inconvenience caused by being unable to log in, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So, like I expressed, King has hit the scene. So, if we look at this cool image of King here. It looks awesome. But then we break it down here. And we've got all his moves also so i really all the comments are just savage against the game's drop rate but anyway um i wanted to talk about this because he seems like more of a unique kind of support character guys and his icons for his moves are fantastic so we've got humanity's hope heals the ally with the highest strength so it's hard to think of an example of who might heal, but this would be really good. So say you had Terrible Tornado on the highest level, that means she'd have the max strength and it would um, basically keep her alive. So I guess that's kind of good and bad because what it doesn't do is heal the person with the lowest health. So it could be a bit of a waste of a heal. But anyway, it heals the ally with the highest strength and recovers HP equal to percent of King's attack. Second one, strong heartbeats. You can see that when boom, 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 boom. When he's doing that in one punch man, but it's actually because he's about to have a heart attack. Causes allies to increase their attack percentage. That's ridiculous. Causes allies, all allies, to increase their attacks by percentage of King's attack and recover additional rage each round. So that one is going to be fantastic. Because when I look at these new characters, I'm always thinking, do they work well with Terrible Tornado? So obviously that's the main character that I like now and I focus on now. So my question always is, are they going to be able to assist with Terrible Tornado? So we've got King's Gaze. After using normal skill, there's a chance to do attack damage to the confronting enemy and there's a chance to inflict stun. That's okay, nothing hugely exciting. When the ally with the highest strength receives a normal skill, the attacker will take attack damage. This effect can only be activated once per round. That's pretty good as well. So, all in all, it seems like King is going to be an absolutely fantastic character, guys. And that's what I'm quite... I am actually quite hyped for. Um, but... I have one issue, and that's this, his element, which means he's going to be impossible to summon. Which is a little bit of a shame, because it, you guys know about I've been playing this game for a long time. I wouldn't say that I don't have, I mean, I don't have the worst luck, but I also don't have the best luck. So, the main issue is, I don't think I'm going to be able to summon King, but I'm curious to, I want you guys to comment down below and let me know what you think of King, and whilst you're doing that guys, crush that like button for me, let's see if we can get 100 likes, and destroy that subscribe button. So, this does worry me, but yeah, and he's got this cool little animation here, he just looks so gangster guys look at him right so with that being said I, for the last part of this video guys i wanted to break down 
his um a, well the new additions coming to 2.1 so i want to say something i was a little bit annoyed about because it seems like they kind of snuck in that um new uh sort of like uh, that weird vip pass thing that you can buy so in this update it doesn't say anything about new like subscriptions and diamonds and premium purchases but it's it, it would not surprise me in the slightest if they sneak some of those in so we've got new additions brand new cityscape in the new versions i'm quite looking forward to this and i will break all of this down tomorrow so in the new version guys they're saying that they're going to have this fantastic new um, city. So, yeah, I think that's going to be quite cool. Um, so they're basically reworking the whole of the home screen. So I reckon it's going to look absolutely awesome. Then we've got battle simulations. Players can now simulate battles with the characters they own. So I'm, I'm not too sure what that means. I think if I was going to try and put that into context guys it would be like the sparring in disney heroes so if i was just to show you an example so i'm pretty certain it's going to be like this when you get when you go into your chat um when you go into your chat like this and people send you characters so shadow hammer and you spar then you're able to sort of go against um other characters and test them out and stuff that's what I think is going to happen. So maybe you can send characters to each other. So yeah, I wouldn't be shocked if that's the case, guys. So yeah, I'm quite excited for that. Then we've got preset formations. Now this is fantastic. So this means you can make, they'll probably limit it. And knowing this game... They will probably limit it and then start charging you diamonds to get more than like two or something. But what that means is that you can obviously set a team for PvP maybe. Set a team for um, as Road to Strong. Set a team for campaign and quickly flick between them in one press. And then you can have multiple uh, story mode teams as well. So all in all I think that's going to be a very very good skill players can now predefine multiple formations yeah so i think that's gonna be awesome then we've got a new wonderful trip and what i'm excited for this and i will be doing a video of this at some point this week is that last time they did one of these special kind of event bits was that they were absolutely fantastic for getting that special currency to upgrade people's skills so I'm excited for that and then they just added tips whilst the game loads which is a nice little feature really let's see what some people are saying Goku still beats one punch man okay can we get deep sea king next he's already in the game should be an easy transition to make him available okay where is daily login that is a huge hugely good point no changes in drop rates I'm just see how the similar yeah same Hopefully he's a fast version of Adam Ross because he has similar abilities. <laughs> Useless hero. Yeah, that's, to be honest, that's all we want. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Bit of a different one. I really like to break down the updates because it's just exciting to see what's coming to the game. So comment down below and let me know what you think. And comment down below and let me know what you want to see in these updates, guys. Because that's what I'm curious about. And I'll see you beautiful people all in the next one. Let's get 100 likes and destroy that subscribe button, guys.